Good morning, good morning, everyone. I thought that I would come on this morning and do another look with you all in the Natasha Denona I Need a Warm Palette. So uh, I'm here. I'm going to wait and see if anyone comes in. I know that a lot of you may be at work, and that's totally fine because you can always catch the replay. Uh, again, this is the Natasha Denona I Need a Warm Palette. It retails for 69 US dollars and is available at many retailers. Uh, I'm going to check the chat and I'm going to see who's here. Hi, Stacy. How are you? Good morning. I wanted to come and play with I Need a Warm again with you all. Uh, and so uh, my face is completely done. Uh, I did uh, just use the Amicole Ultra Flex Brow Gel to lay those brows down. And we are going to be getting back into Natasha Denona's I Need a Warm. Uh, I thought I'd come and do uh, a couple more looks. Um, and so we're, I'm just going to dig in. So those of you who are here, thank you for being here. Uh, my name is Sunsaray, also known as Enamored Beauty, here on Instagram, the Clock app, and YouTube. If you're not following me on those platforms, I would appreciate it if you do so. If you're watching this on YouTube, please know that everything that is on my face and this palette will be linked below for you in the description box. Thanks again for joining me. Hello, Illum Lux. How are you? Thank you for joining. So I'm just going to get and dig, dig into uh, this palette. So I'm going to start off with uh, the outer corner. Uh, I'm going to use the shade Pep which is this shade right here. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. And I'm gonna just go right here and define the crease. And I'm going to also drag that out here. I'm gonna also pull out my Natasha Denona eyeliner uh, pencils. Uh, I have three shades, so the one I'm gonna be using today uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use the brown and I'm going to use the black as well. So we're just bringing the shade Pep here in the outer corner. And as you can see, that is a beautiful brown shade. Um, let me pull out those pencils really quick. Um, I, again, will be linking everything on my face and these the palette and the pencils in the description box uh for you all uh let me see here i am i have a lot of her pencils here so i need to just grab the one i want so here's the brown one and oh i'm gonna have to find the black one And here's the black one. Perfect. So if you're here and you're in the chat, let me know if you've picked up this palette. Um, I'd be interested in knowing your thoughts if you've used it already. I'm applying uh, this shadow with the pencil L. And I'm going to use another brush to buff it out. You're trying not to. <laughs> I love that. I love that. All right, I'm going to take my T4. And I'm just going to go buff this out. Hi, Alicia. How are you? Thank you for joining. We are doing another eye look using the Natasha Denona I Need a Warm Palette. Right now, I am buffing out the shade called Pep, which I placed on the outer corner of the eyelid here. And I thought it'd just be cool for me to 
I'm going to pick up pep again on this brush directly, and then I'm going to go back in and buff it in. Uh, I thought it'd be nice to see more than the eye looks that I did last night. Uh, and so since the palette is fairly new, I thought, why not come on and share a few more looks with you all? So that's what I'm doing. And this look, I'm going to, it's going to be the same on each eye. Uh, because I do have to go out of the house later. So <laughs> this one won't be two separate looks. Uh, it'll be one full look uh, on each, uh, on the, you know, on the same, sorry, the same look on each eye. Hello, Linda. Thank you for joining. So good to see you here. All right. So let's go ahead and build this eye also. We're going to go right back into PEP. Pep is the shade that I'm using for the outer corner. And I'm using this pencil L because it's a dense brush. And I want to kind of draw that uh, shade into that crease. Um, and I want it to be, you know, impactful. So then I'm going to just bring it along here. As you can see. And then I'm going to take that same brush, the T4. I'm going to buff the shade out here just a touch. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Good to see you. And I'm going back into PEP. And we're going to just buff it in here. How's you all's days going? I'm sure you guys are probably at work. But it's so good that you were able to pop in and say hi and see me. I will be saving this live and I'll also be uploading it to uh, YouTube a little later. Work, 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 work. I see you, Stacey. Work, 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 work. Uh, and... Hopefully I could just bring a little sunshine to you all's work day. So we're buffing that in. And these shadows really blend themselves, you guys. They blend so easily. Um, again, the palette retails for $69. US um, It's available at several retailers and at Natasha's site directly. If you were to get it on Natasha's site, you can use my code, which is Sunseray, and you can save 15% off the palette there. Um, I've also linked it at Sephora and Ulta uh, for you all uh, in previous stories and will do so again once this live is over. Uh, so again, this shade is Pep. I'm going to build it um, now because I want to pack the color and I'm going to take my Builder M to do that. Um, and I'm going right back into that same shade, pep. And I'm going to pack it. I'm using a packing motion so that I get the most color payoff. Okay. So if you're wondering, that's how you intensify the color is by using the packing motion to intensify that color. So you can already see the difference. Um, so you guys, for complexion today, I received a package this morning and I just had to dig into it right away. It's the new RMS um, Sun Cover Up Super Tint. And I'm wearing the shade Spice. So if you check out my stories from today, you'll get a full breakdown of everything that I already have on my face. Um, but I'm telling you, it feels amazing on the skin. It blends really well. It's lightweight. It is sheer. Um, it has, I believe it's 94% skincare ingredients in the product itself. 
And um, I do like this uh, for my for this color story for my complexion. What I want is deeper browns. So this brown that I'm using is the deepest in the palette. And I love it, but I would like to see something <clears throat> deeper. Um, however, I think this is great for like the everyday eye look, right? The corporate girl, um, the, the mom at home like me, um, who just wants to put something on the eye, right? And um, it's cool because you can spruce it up with these pretty shimmers. You know, the lighter shimmers I'm going to be using as inner corner highlights. Uh, the deeper shimmers I'll be using on the lids. Um, I want to play with it some more so I can get more of a feel for it. But I think it's a perfect starter palette as well. So, and being that... Um, the tones in it are more neutral. I think it works both for fair skin and for deep skin. Um, but if I were to choose between I need a nude and I need a warm, I'd choose I need a warm. So that's, I went ahead and I built the outer corners. Okay. Now we're going to go into um, a shimmer. And I think today, which one do I want to use? I used Phenomena last night and Snug last night. Let's use Push. So I'm going to go into Push, which is this shade here. And I'm going to take that onto which one do I want to take that onto? Let's see. I'm gonna take it onto my T2 brush. And let me show it to you guys right here. It's the metallic formula right here. Now you can use these wet or dry. If you want more of a high impact, you can also use your finger. I'm going to swipe it on dry to see what uh, type of foiling I get. The T2 is in your rotation right now. Yes, it's a beautiful brush. So I'm trying to think if I used this one last night. I almost want to say I think I used this one last night too. So it must be a favorite of mine already. <laughs> Hi, Beauty and More. Thank you for joining. Right now I'm using the shade Push. On the lid. And I'm using my T2 brush to apply it. It's so pretty. All right, have a good one. Good to see you too. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, take, uh, let's see, a fluffy brush. I'm gonna take my T5, it has no product on it, but I'm going to blend these two shadows together here because I don't want any lines of demarcation and I'm not gonna add any additional product. It's just a clean brush. Okay, and now I'm going to go back in with my T2 to apply that same shadow to this lid.
And once I lay it down with the brush for the first layer, I will take my finger and I'm going to apply it again because it does give a higher impact when you apply it with your finger. Then we'll go into another shimmer for the inner corner and then we will do the lower lash line and we will then have a complete look. All right, I'm taking that T5 again. We're gonna blend these together. And now I'm going to take my finger right back into that shape push. Hi, Lanisha. How are you? And you see how much more of an impact that has. Good morning. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. So again, when you want higher impact from Natasha Shimmers, you want to take either your finger, swipe it in the shadow and swipe it on the lid, or uh, swipe your brush in the shadow, take your shadow and spray it with a setting spray, and then apply it to the lid for higher impact as you see here. So let me show you these lids here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work on that lower lash line. We're going to take that shade Pep. And we're going to drag it from here, the outer corner, to the mid, uh, the center of the eye on each side. So I'm going to do that right now. To do that, I'm going to use my pencil L. And we're going to go right back into that shape, Pep. And we're going to just take it right there under the lower lash line. And I'm going to stop right here. And I'm going to drag it back. So stop there and drag it back here. And I'm going to do the same on this side. And I'm going to take the T4. I'm going to go into that same shade. And I think I'm going to blow it out just a touch more. There we go. Having the right tools to pull off the look that you want is very important. So you can see with this fluffy brush, I'm able to take it right into that outer corner and blow this out. Hey, Brittany, how are you? Good to see you. I was telling you all that I did do some stories. So if you missed them, please check them out. All right, and now I'm going to go into 
the shade, I think fancy is what I want to use. Fancy for the inner corner. I think that'll be a pretty inner corner shade. And I'm going to take that with the T number one. I'm going to pick it up on the brush first. And I'm going to give it a spray. I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm just going to spritz it. That's more than enough. And now I'm going to take it right here into that inner corner. You see how that impact is very high there. Thank you. And I'm not going to spray the brush again, but I am going to go back into the shadow. And again, this shade is fancy. Yes, this shade is called fancy. And I'm using it as an inner corner highlight. And then, of course, I'm also going to bring it down into that lower lash line over to the middle to meet. The shade pep. I'm planning to watch a few of Natasha's videos to try to recreate some of the looks that she's created, but I like to play and see what I can come up with too. I think that's one of the beauties of makeup, right? Is playing around and seeing what kind of looks you can come up with as well. I love how those shades just open the eye. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. All right. So that is the eye look for today using Natasha Denona's I Need a Warm Palette. And we're gonna finish it up with some eyeliner and some mascara. Um, and I just thank you guys for being here today. So we're going to take her, uh, pencil in black and I'm going to sharpen it, uh, because it needs it really quick. And I'm not going to line my entire waterline. I'm just going to line the outer corner here. So the outer third. And her pencil is very creamy and it lasts all day long. So if you're interested in an eyeliner, I recommend her eyeliners. They're beautiful. I wish she released more shades. All right. And I'm going to do some mascara and then we're going to be all done. I'm going to do the La Base by Chanel.
And I'm going to bring it down to the lower lash line. I mean, the lower lashes, not lash line. Oh, and then also I wanted to notify you all that I did apply for the Sephora squad. And so I would love it if you all would leave me a testimonial. And so I will link that in stories as well. All right, let's do the upper lashes. I'm looking at that. Hey, Kat, how are you? Just finishing up this eye look. I hope your day is going well. Thank you. No worries. I'm finishing up. I'm just adding the mascara. Uh, and then we're going to say sayonara. I just felt like I did complexion. Might as well come and share an eye look with you guys. So, And I know lots of folk are at work, so I'm going to save it, of course. <laughs> no worries at all all right this is the look you guys i'll bring you in a little closer does it let you do that still yeah it does okay hey kima how are you And that is the eye look. I did this eye look using the Natasha Denona I Need a Warm Palette. I'm exploring it for folk that look like me because there are not many of us who have reviewed it. So I'm here hoping that you all uh, enjoy getting to know this palette uh, that like I'm getting to know it. Um, thank you so much. Once again, you can pick the palette up at Natasha Denona Direct using my code SUNSARAY and you can save 15% off. I will be linking that in the next story for you. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, please know that if you're watching this on YouTube, everything on my face has been linked for you below in the description box. And if you're watching here, then everything will be linked for you um, also uh, in stories and in the description of the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Be blessed and see you later.